What's going on guys and welcome back. I just first off wanted to start this video by saying thank you to everyone that commented on Blake's video uh, over on Tuesday about Get Well. Um, he is very appreciative of it. I actually FaceTimed with him and he was uh, extremely, extremely appreciative of you know myself doing it and everyone getting involved in that and, and sending him good vibes. And I will be up on Tug Hill this weekend trying to find snow or hoping that the storm coming through gives us something good. Uh, but I will be up there. I'm riding Friday kind of sporadically. And then Saturday is actually the Whiskey Jacks Poker Run. Um, so that's a cool event to do. You know, stop at a couple locations, get a bunch of cards, and then we all end at Whiskey Jacks. And uh, they do, uh, you know, poker. You know, so if you have a good hand, you win prizes. It's a, it's a lot of cool stuff. Turn Ridge Riders is very involved in it. So I will be doing that kind of loop there and then ending at Whiskey Jacks. So if you guys are up, Come find me. So today's video, we're actually not talking about sleds. We're talking about what I ride or what I wear when I ride sleds. So I've gotten a bunch of requests um, from people and this might help new riders. Um, you guys that have been doing it forever, you don't need to watch this. You can watch it if you want, but um, we are gonna go over what I wear. So throughout the years it has changed, but for the most part it stays the same. I, I like to say that I run hot normally, and I do run hot normally, but for whatever reason, when I'm on the sled, I actually run cold. Um, and I've talked about my hands always being cold, uh, which is why I run gauntlets year round. I don't care what the temperature is, I have gauntlets on. So those are really the, the majority of it, what, of what gets cold. So I have all of my stuff here, but I'm gonna start with the base layer because that is obviously where you start when you get dressed. So I don't like wearing too much. So Ryder's here to help us with this one. So pretty much I just have um, just one base layer for my bottoms. So these are, you know, wet. <laughs> Ryder, what are you doing? These are weather ins or winter insulated. Um, they're not super thick though, but this is, aside from, you know, underwear, this is all that I wear on the bottom. And I wear just standard socks. I don't wear any wool socks. I don't wear, you know, double layers of socks. I just wear one pair of socks one pair of underwear, and this on the bottom. Up top, I also wear just a winter insulated Under Armour. And on top of that, I wear, really girl? Why are we gonna do this now, huh? Why are we gonna do this now? So just winter Under Armour, and I wear a t-shirt over that, but that is it. I don't care how cold it is, that's all I'll wear. And I could thank what we're gonna get to later on, but that is all that I wear. For, here, we'll go up here so she's not eating me. For head socks or anything, I don't wear a baklava. I just wear a gaiter. Um, not, even a, not even a heavy one, I wear a thin one. And if it gets colder out, which most of the time I wear a bandana also, this goes up over my nose. Um, that kind of stays down around my neck. But I don't like wearing the full, Full-faced one, I mean, if it's ridiculously cold, I will do it, but I don't normally do it. That's pretty much what I wear. And I got these custom made, and I honestly, with my clothing line and everything, I kinda wanna get more of a made, because they were pretty cool. So as far as base layers, it's it's not, again, it's not a lot. I don't wear like a sweatshirt. I know guys that wear like Under Armour's t-shirts, a long sleeve shirt over that, a sweatshirt, and then their jacket, and it's like, how, how do you move? I feel like I would be like, you know, uh, can't think of the kid from the movie. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. I'm drawing a blank here. Um, <clears throat> so that's the base stuff. The important stuff to me is, is your outerwear. So we'll get to my helmet in a little bit. I don't want to start there. So jacket. And over the last couple of years, I have been 100% FXR. FXR pants, jacket, gloves. I even have a helmet now this year. So the jacket that I have is the two-in-one helium. So I wore this, I had this jacket last year in a different color, but um, it was awesome last year. Honestly, I never once got cold in it. It's flexible, it's very comfortable, it's waterproof. And honestly, most of the time, because it's so warm, I have these vents open. Um, even when it's, you know, decently cold out, this jacket's really warm. This uh, liner is very thick. It's so hard to do with one hand, and I knew that was gonna happen. Anyway, this liner is super thick. 
uh, which is 100% removable. It's got pockets everywhere. It has inside pockets, you know, on your chest. That's where I keep my phone so it stays nice and warm. And I always like having my phone on me. I don't like putting it in the sled. Uh, and then I keep most of the time GoPro batteries in there too. So they stay nice and warm. So that jacket from FXR is literally awesome. Pants wise are also FXR and these are the RRX pants, if I'm not mistaken here. Let's see here. Yep, RRX pant. Um, they are not very thick. They're honestly, I would say probably on the, they would definitely be on the lighter side if I was to, you know, have a whole FXR lineup here. But my bottoms, again, they don't really get cold. And even with not wearing a ton of base layers, it's not that bad. But these are, again, very, they're very uh, flexible, very comfortable to wear. They did have suspenders, but I'm not a fan of suspenders. I am just a mess today. Um, so I took them off and I just wear them as a pant and they, they're, they're awesome. I've had these I've had for two years and I am really hard on pants, especially down like where the feet where you can see it's rubbing, but I mean, has not rubbed through. And I am again, I'm brutal, <coughs> you know, grabbing the sled and gloves. I actually don't know what model FXR these are. Um, they're obviously not very thick. Um, I don't just like I don't wear, like wearing a lot up, you know, my entire body. I like my hands to be able to move and I like to be able to feel the handlebars. So again, another reason why I run gauntlets, but uh, these are great. Second season, I actually did put a hole in them right in my thumb. I guess I, I wear right in here real bad. I'm not too sure. But gloves have been awesome. I'm not very picky on them as long as they're not very big. These work great for what I need. That leads us to helmets. So now I did a video on my helmet. So this year I got a 6D helmet from FXR. Prior to that, I ran all F2 carbons from Fly. Um, throughout my entire racing career, all the custom painted ones up there, they're all Flies, which I love them, but I wanted to give this a try. So I do, I like it. I like it to an extent, well, actually, I don't really have any complaints about it, and we're gonna get to why I'm kind of questioning why I like it or not. Um, but they don't have a cold weather kit. So, and I do this with all my helmets because, again, I, I kind of run cold when I'm out riding. Ryder, you wanna put the helmet on? Come here. <laughs> so, actually, what I did is I went out and I bought, or I didn't go out, but I bought a pack of 100 um, earplugs for like uh, competition gun guys. So they're black. So I actually went inside the helmet and you can't even see them right now, but I put earplugs in every single one of the holes in the helmet to stop the wind come, from coming through because they don't have a cold weather kit for the 6D. So that was the only way to get around that. And then I used the universal FXR um, breath box, which does work good. Uh, it doesn't connect, I'll pull the goggles out. They don't connect that good down by the cheek, um, which I'm gonna try and figure that out. But I also go through and I tape all the vents so there's no cold air getting into your helmet. And again, that's just because I run kind of cold when I'm on the sled. So that leads me to goggles. So goggles, these are Pilot Carbon or Carbon Pilot FXR goggles. And I do like them and I ran the similar ones, just not carbon, last year. And I had awesome luck with these um, and the fly helmet. They sealed for the most part really well. I had to add these little flaps because you were getting, I'd get air in on the sides and I don't like that. So I did the same with these. The only problem that I'm having this year and the only thing that has changed, and again, these goggles I ran all last year and they were all taped up to stop all the wind, is I'm now fogging. So I don't know, I mean, the only thing that's changed is the helmet. So I would assume that it's just the way that this helmet seals, but it's very, it's very, very weird because it's both sets of goggles now and I get it right there and it starts right in front of my eye and it just spreads like wildfire. And I just, I can't understand it. So I'm actually gonna bring <coughs> my fly helmet with me this weekend and I'm gonna switch helmets 
and see if that makes a difference. I don't see why the helmet would have anything to do with the goggles fogging, especially considering these didn't fog last year, but we're gonna try and figure it out. So pilot carbon or carbon pilot goggles. And then the only thing left, <coughs> sorry about that, are boots. So I actually run uh, snowboard boots. This year and last year I actually had Vans snowboard boots, but this is kind of from the snow cross scene. When I raced, we ran snowboard boots because it gives your ankle support. And I, anytime I'd wear a normal boot when I rode, I just didn't like it. So I stuck with snowboard boots. I've had 32s, I've had Vans, I've had Burtons, I've had a bunch of them. And honestly, they all work good. My feet never, ever, ever, ever get cold. The only thing that I do like to do, and I don't understand how they're not really that waterproof, is I just, I pull the liners out of them when I first get them and I spray them with, uh, it's like Scotch Bright or Scotch Guard, Scotch Guard, not Scotch Bright. Um, just to waterproof them a little bit better than they are. And honestly, they're great. These got very beat up. I mean, I went with white to match the sled this year, but they got beat up. I didn't think they were going to get that beat up, but it is what it is. But that's it, guys. That is that is my outfit for riding. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing over the top. It's just basic under layers and uh, some good outer layers. But uh, that's it. For new riders, if you have any questions, put it down there. I will hap happy to you know point you in a direction or uh, give my opinion uh, for old school riders. Maybe you learned something today. Who knows? But uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.